Alrighty, so we're a team of aerodynamic experts. Um, we concentrate most of our time developing cycling and triathlon equipment. Um, but if we could open up the door and develop anything we wanted um, in the world of aerodynamics, you know, no rules, um, what is it that you would like to do? Kevin. Well, I'm working in textiles or so going along this line. There's a lot that is starting to be done in cycling, but I think there's still a lot to be done in a lot of sports. Uh, you can see especially running. We see that people are just running with loose jerseys, marathon, sprint, whatever. Nobody really cares about what they're wearing. And I think a rule of thumb we say about textile is whenever you can cover your body. And when you're speaking about a sprint, you're speaking about speed of 35, 40 kilometers. So that's as fast or faster than most of our listeners, which are just cycling for fun. So I think there's a lot to be done in any sports where you go faster than 10, 15 kilometers per hour. Bjorn? Um, something I would come up with without having a concrete idea is like active aerodynamics on, on the whole cycling system. So on the frame, on the wheels, that um, you have a setup that's able to adjust according to the conditions on, the, on, the, on your race day. Transformer bike. Yeah, a transformer bike. That would be my idea. Nice. Adrian? Yeah, at the moment, uh, aerodynamic development in the cycling business uh, focuses like most of its time on uh, triathlon, uh, time trial and road cycling. But I see that there, is a, there are many more um, cycling disciplines that are completely underdeveloped in uh, the case of, of uh, aerodynamics. And I believe that uh, aerodynamics has to go off-road. Ooh, because Adrian, you are a mountain biker yourself, so... I'm a mountain biker myself, yes. Enduro, downhill, uh, aero, uh, it's your, your desire to go down that pace. Um, not just, but also. <laughs> also, if, if, if the coolness allows it, because, yeah. you know, we know they don't like lycra and downhill, right? Cool. I mean, final from my side, um, you know, my vision, my dream is uh, to take everything we learn from cycling, uh, from the bike rider system, and apply it to problems we have in the real world, which is mobility. Um, one thing I've said quite often is that uh, the, the problem we have of transport in urban environments where we have speeds of 40 to 60 kilometers an hour is actually exactly the same problem we're solving for, with a bike and rider system in cycling. And um, the bike rider system is a lot closer uh, to the solution for light mobility vehicles than our car is. So um, my dream is that we take all of the knowledge that we've built over so many years and we built the ultimate light mobility commuting vehicle, um, which will be, who knows, it's maybe three wheel, four wheel, kind of a uh, lot more closely related to bicycle. Um, I think there's a lot happening. There's some cool stuff happening in the cargo bike space already. We see kind of these, this direction of solutions coming. So uh, yeah, my dream is to take our know-how and apply it to uh, solving the problems that we're gonna have with traffic and congestion and the environmental problems that we have uh, in the urban environment.